What's up, YouTube? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, we got another reaction, right? And um, it's uh, Math Hopper. I'm sure y'all are familiar with him. He got a podcast. It's uh, my expert opinion. It's like a barbershop settings. He also got like a battle, a battle rap background. You know what I mean? And he from New York. Now he's sitting down with Vlad, and they're gonna be speaking on 1090 Jake and how he get the paperwork and how valid is this say so and whatnot. You feel me? So we're gonna dive in on that. I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel during the reaction, and y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Keep it a BG for me. Let's rock. I, I had 1090 Jake here yesterday, yeah. and he talked about all the people who he has actual paperwork on, who cooperated. And he's like very transparent about it. Like, mm -hmm. here's how I, here's how I got the paperwork, and here's how you could go and get it yourself to verify it. Right. Like he's that trip shows like go to this website, blah blah. It's like in Florida, you can look up anything. Right. How did you get this paperwork? So Jacksonville is Duval County, Duval County criminal clerk. You just go in there and type in a name brings up every single arrest. When you go into the arrest, brings up the dockets. The dockets have the arrest affidavit. It literally just tells you everything. So you just went online? You actually got, got to go online. online. Everything was online. So yeah. online, you just looked it up. Yeah, Florida, Florida has the sunshine laws where everything is fucking public. Sunshine so laws. it was mad easy to, uh, to get this shit. I didn't even have to leave, you know, my apartment. Boss and Richie, uh, finesse two times. Like, these people have great careers. They're so you're saying this paperwork on this paperwork on according to him. I haven't verified my salary. But he was what's that according to him? According to him, but but he's actually saying here's how you can look it up yourself. Okay, I mean did did, did you look it up? I did not look it up. Okay, but you hear repeating. I'm here repeating what he said. What he said. <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that to me is a and you know Math Hoffa, he telling the truth. You know, it's a lot of people that share that point, that uh, point of view. And that's true. Like, you just can't be throwing people names in conversations and tying it to certain situations unless you got the facts. You know, because you starting a campaign, whether it's true or not, it's still a campaign that you got a ball that's going to just, you know, a snowball effect. It can possibly just turn into something that's severe. And that snitching jacket is very dangerous to wear. And you shouldn't be just putting people name in that unless you got some facts about it. And you know, Vlad was kind of going down the path of the paperwork and people being a snitch, just like it was factual, you know? And, and once Matt Fox would start kind of asking some questions to see like if he had like went through it himself and whatnot, that's when he was like, he really didn't. So it's like, we got to be cautious on how we deliver our messages or when we're reporting or, you know, whatever, when it comes to speaking on people. And, you know, I did see at the end, like, Vlad was trying to say, like, to 1090 Jake's uh, words, but not to his. However... It's like people will just, you know, put things out there and just let it go out there without doing the homework they self. And that's why if I do speak on anything like this, when it comes to a 1090J um, exposing somebody or somebody else information coming up with a bad background, uh, with a bad background or something like that, I'm gonna always make sure I speak on the form of like this is what they saying and if they did do this. Then this is ratting, and if, you know, I'm not saying they did that, I'm breaking down stuff, like, around the situation, but not necessarily a targeting, uh, targeting the person. And I will always say, you know, they accused of it, unless I did the homework and I can repeat that as a fact, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just real great conduct, and that's a good way to keep it honorable at the end of the day, you know? Violation, because there's two things that I can't put, okay? I mean, the, the, 
Did you look it up? I did not look it up. Okay, but you're here repeating. I'm here repeating what he said. What he said. Yeah. But and that, and that to me is a violation because there's two things that I can't put on somebody without seeing actual evidence. And that's snitching and, you know, all the, the, all the backdoor play. I can't, I can't accuse anybody of, of none of this shit. Or, or, or put that tag on them, or even mention their name in the same sentence or something like that, mm -hmm. because I don't know. Okay, fair enough. And that's something that I grew up not playing with. Like, yeah. you don't play with that shit. Cuba Lake accused And you know, Mav Hoffa, he's speaking real. Like, I'm sure a majority of people that come from the streets or got like a real stand-up background coming up from their family or their society, they pretty much thought that the same way, you know? And it's easier to say stuff like that when you got to be, you know, on the couch somewhere, in the house somewhere, going to roll around with your security, or when you could really be cared, like, where you might not have to even uh, have any issues behind your words. But when you come from these streets, or you just come from the bottom, you done seen how things can occur and people come up short that probably didn't even have to happen if people chose to do the deep dive and see the facts. Or like if you was to speak like that about somebody and then, you know, people not feeling that and you ain't even got the facts to back that up, you might have people really do something to you. So it is a very, very, very serious situation when it comes to just speaking on people with any and everything. I don't know. Okay, and that's something that I grew up not playing with. Like, yeah. You don't play with that shit. Cuba Lake accused Fat Joe of snitching and post up some paperwork. And, and then came was, back and said, it was oh, I don't think it's real. It was even Joe was like, I've seen this paperwork. Yeah. I know the guys that are mentioning it. Yeah. But that's not real paperwork. Right. My name thrown into there, that's Photoshop. Yeah. And then Cuba Lake had to go back and say, yeah, I think, I think he's right. Yeah. And for that reason... You know, it's been an issue about, you know, keep. And you know, that's a dangerous thing that had happened. You know, I, I don't know how I missed that. You feel me? However, at least he was able to go out there and do, you know, the right thing and uh, uh, come clean about the paperwork or whatever was being wrong, pretending to Fat Joe. But my thing is, like I always say, once you make accusations about a person, it's always going to be there, whether it's 10% or 20 or 5 or 1. It's never going to just be 100% clear. That's just the truth in the matter. And some people might not even get the second time when you clear the person's name. They might have just still be stuck from the first video or the first time you spoke on it and you was just accusing the person. So, you know, a person life and stuff can still be in some type of at risk, you know, and, uh, That's Photoshop. Mm. And the Cuba Lake had to go back and say, yeah, I think I think he's right. Yeah. And for that reason, you know, it's been an issue about, you know, Cuban coming on my show. Um, like I, was he on your show? No. Okay. But for those reasons, it's like, yo, when you, when you have so much animosity against someone that you would jump out the window with some shit like that, like, I can't rock with it. And yeah. I just can't rock with it. You know? Like, that's... Man. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, uh, I've interviewed Cuba Lake before, uh, a long time ago. Right. And, uh, I mean, you have to at least give him the credit of coming forward and saying, yeah, okay, I don't think that was real. Because he could have just left it. No, I'm, I'm, and I respect that. Yeah. I respect that 100%. But. And that's what I was saying. You know, at least he was man enough to stand up and do that. However, you know, that's why we got to always be mindful and not be so quick to just try to expose something or, you know, be the first the, the per, uh, per, first person trying to make an exclusive, like try to really do our best homework and research to make sure everything is 100% right when it comes to speaking on a person, especially in so much of a negative form, you know? And again, I'm not speaking so much directly about those individuals' issues. I'm just speaking in general about what the situation can be, you know? Anybody. But then you got to take a step back mm -hmm. and be like, why? Well, I got to say it. 
When you're too thirsty, you don't drink, you drown. Mm -hmm. And some people get too thirsty and they drown. Yeah. So now you look crazy to all the guys that we, that, that, that thought that you had some sort of integrity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you was too thirsty. Yeah. And that is true. You know, your name and your words, your resume, that's all you really have in this world, man. I don't care if you on the legit side of things, the not legitimate side of things, whatever. You know, in life, that's just all you have. And once you start putting stuff out there or you start stamping stuff and it start coming back to be faulty and not real or authentic, I know a lot of those words be the same thing. And, uh... Your integrity is on the line. You know, your conduct, honor, your stamp, it can become watered down. And now it carries no value as what it used to be. So, you gotta keep that in mind as well when you just be speaking on things. That was pretty much the video. And I thank y'all for tuning in with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Keep it a Benji for me. If not, don't jump in. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.